welcome to Sweet Smart Sexy. It's your girl Sabrina. Uh, today's episode is about giving you tips for motivating yourself. Everybody, no matter who you are, if you're the fittest person on the planet, if you're a personal trainer, if you're just starting, if you're a gym rat, everybody has a day when they just don't feel like it. Um, so I'm going to give you seven tips that are going to help you hopefully self-motivate and be able to kind of trick yourself or pick yourself up and, and get in gear on those days when you just don't feel like it. Uh, so one of the first things that I do uh, when I'm not feeling like working out is I will play a song or just hit play on my playlist of my gym jams, a song that really motivates me. Some people it's Eye of the Tiger, uh, just one of those tunes that just makes you feel like, yeah, you got to get up and, and do something. So that's something you can do for yourself. Um, but the midway through the song, you're like, start putting on your gym clothes and you're ready to, to get it in. So that could be something you could do. Um, another thing you could do is make a deal with yourself. I'm notorious for that. On days when I'm just not feeling it, um, maybe I've had a long day at work and I missed the workout in the morning and I'm trying to convince myself to do it after sitting in front of a computer for eight hours, uh, then what I'll do is make a deal with myself and I'll say, okay, if you go hard and you give yourself 150%, everything you've got, then instead of working out for an hour, we'll do 30 minutes or we'll do 45 minutes. We'll make it short and sweet, uh, but I got to go hard and that's the deal that I'll make with myself. So that's something else you can do. Um... The other thing that really motivates me, join a fitness group uh, online. It doesn't have to be something that you're doing uh, with a group physically or whatever, but I'm part of a few different uh, fitness fan pages on Facebook, and I read those as motivation for myself. I look at people's project progress and their success stories and um, you know what accomplishments they've made that day and whatever they're posting, and that gets me excited and makes me want to be like, you know what, I want to have something good to say or I want to get up and, and meet, meet that challenge and so that's another um, option and there's lots of them there's FBF Fitness there's Fit Men Cook I'm part of a Beachbody group because I um, my Beachbody coach has a, a group page for all of us um, so there's lots of different ones there's an insanity group so just search fitness and find some that you can kind of get on board and, and that are pretty active so you can be motivated something else that I do that a lot of people don't do and aren't maybe aren't as aware of is I keep a goal sheet I have different goals for different things so like right now I'm training to get ready to run the 5k for electric run so I have a goal sheet of how what kind of time I want to make on that three miles um, how many miles I want to run each day what time frame I want to do it in and if I do one time the day before, like yesterday I ran in 22 minutes, so today I made a point to try to hit 21 minutes in the same distance in 21 minutes. Um, and so I try to do better each day and I reward myself with different things, uh, like a smoothie and like, okay, uh, today I'm gonna have fresh fruit smoothie as, as a treat because I reached this goal or whatever. Um, the other thing in the same kind of vein that you can do is also keep a fitness journal. Write down after each workout how you feel, how your day goes. Do you feel more energized? Do you feel great about yourself? Do you feel sexy um, after a workout? Whatever those things are and whatever those emotional experiences are. Because on the days that you don't feel motivated, you can go back in that journal and read and remember how good you felt after your workout, how much fun you had. And that will motivate you to be like, you know what, I really like this. It helps me clear my mind. I'm a better person. I do better work at my day job. Um, I do find that true for myself in the mornings if I work out. I tend to deal with the pressure of my day job a lot better. I tend to have more creative ideas for teaching um, as I teach online classes. So. Uh, that's something that you can rely on and say, you know what, I'm not myself when I don't work out. Uh, so you can revisit that. The last two things are probably the most important things and maybe the most practical things that you can do as well. When you start getting or feeling a lack of motivation, nine times out of ten, it's because you're bored with your workout. So you have to switch things up. I enjoy running, but I don't run all year round. I don't run every single day. Usually I'll go like a good month and a half hard of running and then I'll switch up and do something different. Cardio, kickboxing, do swimming, do something completely different. Um, do a different beach body program, go weightlifting, whatever. So you have to switch your routine up. 
And you want to be flexible about that because otherwise you're going to get bored and you're going to stop growing too because your body gets conditioned to this one thing. So you're going to stop seeing results and you'll plateau. Um, so one thing that will help you be motivated is switch it up. Take a dance class instead. Do a pole dancing class. That's core work. That's strength. Do a chair dancing class. Go running. Go do a cycling class. Find something else local. You don't have to commit to a membership all year round. You can just say, okay, I'm going to do this drop-in belly dance class as a low-impact workout for my core today. Or I'm going to do um, this cross-training because I heard about it and it seems like fun for today and drop in on that class. So Google those. It's all Google Googleable, if that's a word. Check for it in your area and give yourself some diversity. And that's how you're going to be able to continue a healthy lifestyle and be motivated. Um, find things that are fun for yourself. Think outside the box. And the last one is phone a friend. Um, I find certain days of the week that are challenging for me to work out. Usually by Thursday, Friday, I'm tuckered out. I've gone hard from Sunday all the way through. And by that fourth and fifth day, I'm in like, Ugh, I just don't feel like it. And because I know that, um, every few weeks, I'll call up a friend and say, hey, let's schedule to meet this uh, next Thursday at X, Y, and Z time. And we're going to go to this boxing class or we're going to just agree to meet and run together, whatever the case may be. So that's something else that you can do for yourself because you're more likely to be accountable when you have to meet up with somebody else uh, for your fitness plan. So that's something you can do quick and easy. Um, if you know there's a certain day of the week or a certain time of the month, like sometimes ladies, when we're menstruating, we just don't feel like it. <laughs> we can get edgy. So maybe that's the week that you schedule to meet up with various friends and work in a group for your, for your workouts. Um, so that way you don't cheat yourself and you don't sit out and be like, eh, I'm just not going to do it because I feel bloated and I don't want to. Um, so sometimes you need that. You need to be able to lean on your friends. So those are my seven tips. Uh, I hope it helps you get motivated. If you have other tips to share, post them in the comments, like, and subscribe. If you haven't already and you care to join the Sweet Spot Sexy team for the electric run, uh, make sure you register. The prices go up for registration on Thursday at midnight, which is tomorrow. So make sure you sign up so you can get it while the price is low. Um, looking forward to seeing you guys.